Welcome to Minecraft Trophy Hunting Part 13. So initially, if you watched my last video, I said that I was going to go to an ocean monument and find a sponge. Because if I find a sponge, then I can complete Expansion Pack 3. The problem is finding an ocean monument. I've already looked around for one. I actually record, I tried recording this video already. I looked around for one, couldn't find anything. So I just deleted the video. I got bored of trying to find one. So I'm not getting that trophy right now. I'll get that when I go and beat the Elder Guardian and I can get other stuff like this as well, where you have to stay underwater for two minutes. I can just grab all the underwater stuff at once. That makes more sense. So for today, I'm going to tackle Expansion Pack 10. Kill a Pillager Captain, defeat a Ravager, trigger a Pillager Raid, basically stuff that I'm already an expert in. All of this stuff here is just as natural as like breathing to me. I'm not going to be doing the raid in my village. Definitely not. Only because I have an iron farm and I don't want to, because I'm going to be spawning iron golems to help me with the raid and I just don't want to ruin the iron farm. If I spawn iron golems anywhere near here, it's not going to spawn any in the farm. So we're going to firstly go over to a pillager tower and then we're going to go to the village just straight ahead of us right there. Basically, it's all the way over there. That should be far. You can see it. It should be far enough in the distance to essentially not mess with the iron farm but yeah this should be easy should be able to knock out expansion pack 10 with ease and all the trophies relate to pillagers because i don't know how they work the trophies in this game because the sponge thing doesn't really relate to the other trophies in that pack but here but with the oh wait there's a village right there and there's a pillager tower right there so might as well take the pillager tower out and then just travel across to that village maybe the expansion packs are just to do with the way the updates released i suppose all right so I've got my flint and steel because I do plan on burning it down. Won't be one of my videos if I wasn't going to burn it down. So I'm just going to get as close as I can. There might even be a iron golem here as well that I can free. But there we go. Take them all out. There's the captain. Wait, I think I need to kill him, not the iron golem shit. There he is. I need no. I need to kill you, not the golem. There we go. There's one trophy. I've got a bad feeling about. No, I've got a good feeling about this. I'm not worried at all. I got sharpness five. I forgot about that. I'm two. Sh I'm two shotting all of them. Oh, can take these for my own golems. Okay, let's go in. See what's in the chest. Oh, it's actually crap. It's crap loot. Protection 2 for the buck as well. Well, that was really easy. That was just... I didn't even need the iron golem. Wait. I don't think I got a bad omen effect. Oh, no. Oh, no. They changed it in a video. Did, uh, they changed it in an update. You get this bottle and it gives you the effect instead. That's actually quite a nice thing. Because it means you can return to your village if you want before triggering a raid. That's actually really cool. Right, let's burn this place to the damn ground. Obviously, I need to get out myself, so let's start making our way down. And then we'll watch the... Wait, I think there's more down here. Crap. Oh, well. Means that they're still alive to see the base of theirs get burned down. Oh, no way! No way. Bro's glitching his way up to safety. Sorry, mate. But that's not how it works. All right, let's watch the fireworks. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff right here. This is what I love to see. <laughs> now that that's done, it means... Oh, wait. There's another captain here? No way. Does that mean I can get two bottles? Yeah. <laughs> I can actually do two raids. What can I do with two raids? You know what? This is actually really good. In fact, I think I might be able to get... There's another trophy relating to pillagers, but more like woodland mansion type stuff. Like killing an evoker. And I think they spawn in raids. So we're probably going to start progress on another expansion pack while we're here. All right. So let's start this thing. Get this out of my inventory. Um, I guess I... Do you drink it? Yeah. There we go. So I've got the bad omen effect. I am in a village. So where is the raid? There we go. We're being attacked. Right. Where's the bell? Let's go and ring the bell. We get another trophy. Just got to find it first. I think there it is. 
Let's wait for them to spawn, because there needs to be danger before I ring it. Uh, there's definitely enemies here, so why am I not getting the trophy for this? You know what? There's plenty of opportunities to get that. Maybe they're not even in the village right now. Even the villagers aren't listening to me. Oh my god, they're just taking out the villagers. I suppose that's what they do though, right? I'm gonna start spawning the golems because they, they did just take out a bunch of guys. Oh, that is so bleeding loud. So we'll put another one here. You know, they're in the water, so it's actually quite nice. Why is it so loud, though? Ring the bell with a hostile enemy in the village. Yeah, I don't know where I... I don't know when I brought my dog, but I guess I did. Okay, let's try and bring them over to the actual village itself, because I need this trophy. They're definitely in the village now. They're, like, right by the houses. How... What? Is this not the bell? Is this just a bell? I mean, this guy's checking out the crops. Where's the... I don't know, man. You know, maybe it can be any mob. Maybe I could just bring a zombie in here if I have to. Oh my god, these are part of the raid, right? Damn, this iron golem's about to die. Yeah, the rhinos here. You know what? We still have a golem. I say we spawn you here. Right, I'm going to have to push you over there. I'm going to want you to sit too. I don't want you going over there. Go on that way, bud. There you go. I'll help too. For sure. Oh! I said I'll help. Not take aggro. Got ya. Kill the beast. Wow. What was that? Defeat a Ravager. Okay, I don't even know if that was... That might be in the pack, actually. I can't remember which one. Wait, did they take my golem out? Oh, no. Brooke's doing some sharpshooting. I didn't even realize where she was. Oh, the golem's here. What are you doing? Get to combat. No... Wait, let me kill the evoke actually. Let me kill him because I, I get the trophy. There we go. Man, trophy fest. Just an actual trophy fest. Oh, we got a totem of undying. That's good. Okay, bring him over to the golem. Bring him over to the golem. Yeah, die. I've got you, golem. All these emeralds are going to help with the trading, that's for sure. Okay. Don't know how many more waves there are. But, we'll see. The, wait, there's uh, mobs out now, so I'm going to actually go and... Uh, ring the bell now. <laughs> There are, there are definitely enemies in the village. I'm just saying there's literally a skeleton just down here. It's night time now. So pillager or not, this should be popping. Oh, they're getting the villagers. That's bad. We need to save some for the, for the effect afterwards. 
Holy fucking hell, that damage. Oh no, not right now. Oh. Plus bedrock, you know, restores your HP at the, the rate of a fucking slug. I'm dead. That's really unfortunate right there. I didn't, I'd... Oh yeah, we slept here. Brock, I'm gonna need you to uh, try and take these guys out for me. Like, I might be Master Chief, but I can't do anything without gear. Okay, now Brock's dead too. This is bad. But I've got my stuff back, kind of. Got a witch throwing stuff, but that's more valuable. Okay, hang on. Let's put the totem up and dying on, honestly, for now. Just, just, just in case. Yeah, this ain't going particularly well, I'm not gonna lie. I've got my totem up and dying on just in case, but at this point, I don't know if there's a single villager left. Which, again, if that happens, I could always do another raid somewhere else. I'd just rather not, you know. Bro, we have to talk about the rate of bedrock regeneration. It does like two hearts before you start getting hungry again. It's ridiculous. This has got to be the final wave. Yeah, well, two more left here. Another totem of undying right here. Oh, there we go. It's done. It's done. Raid victory. Let's go see if there's any... <laughs> Let's go see if anyone's even still alive. Actually, we'll go to sleep first, Brock, if you uh, have a bed there. Hopefully someone's alive, and then I can buy from them and get a trophy. I ju I'm just assuming that's how it works. Anyone? Oh, God. We may... Oh, wait, can I trade with you? Okay, there's a farmer alive with prices cut in half. That's good. That's good, but we're going to need some stuff to trade, though. Shit, I think it's just one farmer that's alive in this place. That's it. I think that's it. This place is an absolute ghost town that's been completely wiped out. But I can't trade unless I have, like, 19 potatoes. Oh, wait, there's some here. Here we are. So... The cheapest possible price, right? Oh, there we go. Buy ho, so, bu buy ho, buy buy low, sell high. Trade for the best possible price. So I knew that you get discounts for protecting a village. So I just assumed that's how you got the trophy because it was with all of the other stuff. But let's just take a look here. Expansion pack six, right? Defeat an evoker is actually a, a part of this pack. It's not part of expansion pack 10. Hey look, there's another one here. Use Totem of Undying to cheat death. I'll just keep it on. Eventually that will happen. I could waste it, but I'm not going to. Expansion pack 10, we got defeat a Ravager, trade for the best possible price, trigger a Pillar Drain and kill the captain. What else do we have? Use a grindstone to get experience from an enchanted item. Okay. Oh no, I already did that. That means there's only one more. Ring. Yeah, this is the one that I didn't get. Ring the bell with a hostile enemy in the village. I mean, we saw clearly there were enemies in the village when I rang the bell. So I've got no bleeding clue what's going on with that. All right, I'm going to go back to my village. Um, I could, There is another one that I can try the bell on. And then if all else fails, I can even bring an enemy into mine. Wait, how do I lose Wi-Fi? But I'm on a realm. Oh, I've lost Wi-Fi. I'm going to get disconnected. Let's try this um, village. I don't know if anyone's alive here anymore. Um, but if there's a bell here. Yeah, there's people alive. Where's the bell, though? It's the problem with villages like this, man. Everything's all over the place. Oh, no. I'll protect you. Here it is. Okay, there's, there's definitely hostiles here, right? Oh, my God. What is this shit? Look, there's... there's Skeletons right here attacking villagers. There's villagers being being killed here There's, There we go. So it has to be right next So the it doesn't actually count as a village It has to be near the bell like to that trophy according to that trophy The village is just this small area here 
All the houses and all that down here. Not the village, apparently. I suppose that's to make the trophy harder, but... No, it just makes it a bit misleading. I also have the village effect, by the way. So I was completely... I wasn't actually dependent on anyone surviving the raid. Could just do it. Could have just gone back to my own village and traded there. Yeah, let's go back and that will be it for this video. We're back. We're safe. The first expansion pack that we have fully completed was number 10. So again, I don't know what I'll do next. I might try and find an ocean monument so I can finish expansion pack 3 and then get started on the next ones. I'm still thinking about tackling 1 next though with the wither, but we'll see. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.